Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Now I told you I would come back as soon as I had this stuff. Lucky. Except for the brains keep falling out. <laughs> so you gotta step those back in, right? Um. So, <laughs> I'll be back with you in a moment, Chris. That's what you heard. She and I are talking. Um. So now I'm just whip stitching this closed and I'm using a white thread on this so that uh, so that you can not either not see it or barely see the stitching and if I had used a black thread on this you would definitely see it so always make sure that you match up your thread as good as possible now hold it together as soon as you roll that down because this stuffy um is kind of you know it, it's gonna be easy to do pretty much like i put the stuffing part in there to form its face right there i don't know if you can tell but as soon as I'm done, you'll be able to tell. And I already took out some buttons for its eyes and its little nose. So it'll have a little nose. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think this is going to be cute. Now you guys know I've crocheted some stuffies before. So I have this stuffy to finish. One more to go for the day, and that would be her oldest son's stuffy. She told me, yes, they are looking forward to this. Um, oh, I can't wait for you to get it. I'm excited for you to get everything. Are you kidding me? Uh, got that excitement going. So, like, in between sewing, I'm actually gathering things together. So... Since one of the winners already owns a bar, that vampire soap, Doug and Chris, you'll be getting vampire soap. Um, and she already has the, uh, the one whipped lotion. So, uh, the whipped body butter, I should say. So, uh, Chris and Doug, you will be receiving that sure that you know somebody that will enjoy it and don't forget you all three get a grinch for that grinchy person in your life or just use it yourself either way it's all good it's all good so and then i figure chris might like the um Get that tucked in there right this this can be a little tricky like I laid it down so that I could collect the fabric a specific way and pull that through now see this would be the same thing with taking your clothes in as you want to I'll show you um you want to take that fabric right roll it in and make sure that you have it marked when you do that to your actual size that's you know what straight pins are good for put that for your actual size but if you're working with the stretchy material make sure it's roomy enough that you can still get into it then hold that together and pull it Hold it together and pull. Hold it together and pull. <laughs> Gonna be a little funny here. Hold it together and pull. <laughs> so, I'm trying to make the camera angles that, so that you can see this. I'm wearing baggy clothes today because it's comfortable comfortable for me oh arthritis the worst the worst with fibroid myalgia but I deal with it by keeping myself busy and my mind off of it 
Um, yeah. Ooh, one thing, and I, I just made some of this for uh, my friend that, you know, this is his house. Um, he wasn't feeling well, like, you know, having the sniffles, so I made him some of my uh, healing broth. Very easy to make. Very easy to make. It makes you feel good. And I also have my healing soup recipe up on my channel. You can go check that out. Not only is it healthy, but it also keeps cold and flu season at bay. Absolutely. So... Absolutely. So I'm going to show you guys how to finish this because we're at this point now in the neck. <laughs> like I was telling Chris earlier, like the brains were falling out. So I had to keep stuffing that back in. And it's funny because like the inside of the stuffy up here kept falling out. That was hilarious. Now let me move you guys up on something a little higher. Oh, there's my other buttons. Oh, there they are. Yay! Button, button. Who has the button? I do. Um, actually, that was a phrase said by Spike in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I, I used to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'd like to know who didn't. Who did not watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I liked that show. I think I mostly liked it because of the mythology. I always loved mythology. And they would have things in there, like mythological things in it. So, and I thought a couple of things like Giles was, you know, a bit odd, but then it turned out Giles was from another time. So, weird, right? That Giles came from a different time period than Buffy and her friends. So that was weird. It was kind of cool at the same time. But you know what I might get back into? Showing you guys like some incline push ups that I do and my ballet stretches. Let me tell you, ballet stretches tone your body without straining yourself. Oh, yeah. If you have uh, health issues where you can't, you know, bend too much or lift too much, ballet stretches are your ticket to uh, not hurting yourself. I mean, come on, I'm my age and look at that arm. Most people have that, like at my age, hanging lower. <laughs> Not more. One girl I went to school with, she was one of the skinny popular girls. I think I told you guys this before. Always picked on me, right? I, I didn't have real friends in school ever. So I was kind of a loner. So I just kept to myself and my artwork. And uh, babysitting, that's all basically I did is, you know, growing up. And uh, it didn't really bother me. I didn't have to do deal with, like, the snooties uh, wanting want me to do stuff to get in trouble. So I basically stayed out of trouble by not conforming to the stuffy people's ways. Conformance, something I'm not. 
except for conforming to my own ways. Like, so far, sewing the body together is almost done. I just have to finish up this little arm over here. And then that's it. Oh my gosh, we haven't even been on here that long. I just wish that this laptop, I wish I was able to pause with it, but it doesn't seem to have that feature anymore. I don't know why it should, but it doesn't. He would think it would, but <laughs> not all laptops are made the same. That is so true. That's okay. I'll have better equipment soon. Um, very soon. Which would be great, you know? Better for editing. I'm still gonna get my big laptop fixed and maybe I could just like, if I don't get something really soon and I get that fixed, I'll just stick with that for a while, which works for me. Saves me more money. Other than having to spend. I know next year I'll upgrade my phone. I've had that phone for almost two years. I think it's time for a new one. It's a good phone though. By the time I get that it'll be a, an S or a 6 or a, it'll be something. Mine's already considered obsolete anyway. Okay, almost done with this. Sewing through the neck. Sewing. Sew it be. So let it be done soon. I just want to get my day cheery. Make your day cheery too by being a little doofy for you. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I think I'd rather be cheery than sit around and be all puddles pity party. With as much that's wrong with my health, I would rather be a cheery person. Keeps you healthier. A healthy mindset gives you a healthy way to be healed. Healing yourself with a healthy mindset. No, I'm not saying anything bad about anybody else. Don't come at me for that. Look, I'm get that little bit left. But yeah, I, I like to teach people. Uh, I was a uh, volunteer art teacher for Head Start when my boys were little. And uh, when my daughters were little and went to Head Start, uh, I volunteered as an art teacher then too. So even though I had to have a translator for the Mexican kids and their parents, I did I did help them, which I had no problem doing. To me, people are people. Don't matter where you come from, you're still people. Shoot, I have friends from like different countries around the world and I have no problem with that I, I like being around like good people and good people are hard to find anymore and, like true hearted people yeah it's sad that it's so hard to find good quality people anymore I mean far few and in between um, I have found a few good ones like kicking it with Chris Girl, don't worry. I've been about in some of the situations you have, like, you know, people have been just dirt and treat me like, you know, crap. Um, but I powered through it by keeping a positive mind about myself. Um, even though my doctors constantly call me a beast, freaking please. <laughs> Frickin' please. Okay, now let's cut that thread. Oh, hey look, look what we 
got look what we got now at this point this is where you can literally take the material and squish it around and shape the head now do you see that see that little nose oh it's got a little nose i'm not too sure that i have to sew ears onto this because it already kind of has an ear shape and you can tell you can tell what it is um do i want to put clothing on this i thought about that i really have i've thought about that but I'm like making little clothes for it or maybe taking an extra piece of the material and making like a little skirt sewn onto it you know that would be cute um it would, it would be cute so let's sew the nose and the little eyes on i know this video is gonna be a little bit longer maybe maybe we're already 16 minutes into it and i'm and i'm now sewing on the eye or the nose for you um to to see i'm using this stuff I'm using arm rest right now uh, i should say a hand rest okay so for the nose i'm going to sew on a white button like i did the other stuffy shape its face a little bit better because I'm actually going to grab some of that material that's in here to keep that nose shaped and just like pull it pull it through and now we have a shape and then we do that one more time so for this time is when we put the nose on yay um, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure like you know how to sew a button Lint. um pretty sure a lot of people know how to sew on a button just like sewing on a button and there's the nose there's the nose. This is going to Chris's nine-year-old daughter. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to get all this. Some of the stuff in your box you can share with Tony. Yeah absolutely some of the stuff in it you can share with your husband <laughs> you might give him the grinch bath bomb and like what are you giving me this for for those times when you're in a mood <laughs> no i'm just joking tony <laughs> don't be giving it to your mother-in-law oh my gosh she might flip on you girl <laughs> You might you should be like what 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 <laughs> okay and that is the last one in for that stitch and then we just bring it back under here and and I want to tighten that and then then that's when I take it just under the button and this is what I do take it around that needle three times and you have a good knot absolutely you have a good knot this bear has a nose and now for the eyes and now for the eyes oh my gosh oh i can't believe i'm almost done with this one now i can take either that white thread again or a good um gray thread 
which is from my thread drawer or from my uh, top drawer and um, this is also a good sturdy thread this is that really old school stuff I mean the new school stuff it's yes, all right sorry right. but for some things like eyes I like to use the old school thread And the old school thread I notice is a lot easier just to trim back. And where do we want these eyes? I think I want the eye right here. Right here. Okay. Let me grab this. Now see, I wasn't too, you know, like worried about placing the eye down and shaping that out like I was with the nose because you don't really have to worry about that much. Everything's going to come to life. Just like that. It's, this is going to have such character to it that when your little girl gets this she I hope she's really happy with it you said she's very content all of your kids are and um and very modest so I mean that's one eye just about finished being fastened down the, the correct hole here back through and then through the other hole because I want to make sure that's back where I started and then knot that off nothing naughty about this it's all nice it's all nice Yeah, thread wants to be horrible sometimes it doesn't want to doesn't want to go through if I hold it a specific way sometimes it's hard to get it to work with you that is one hard thing about the old school threads sometimes the old school threads will mess with you like that now when I cut these I want to show you a little trick I do I cut that as close to the button oh, my hand cramped oh, that's okay <laughs> it's okay because there's an eye on there now the nose and the eye now you see how this is coming together and then for the other eye and then basically this will be done all I have to do is add little extra things to it like maybe a little skirt make it look like it's wearing a little skirt look it already has personality hello <laughs> absolutely I mean think about that when I get the other eye on there full-on personality <laughs> it's already cute and uh, I see where the sewing machine missed a spot so I can just go back over that with the white thread see now like if you find a spot where your sewing machine has missed whip stitch it you're good and that's the only spot I see like that it's all good anyway gonna get this other eye on here and then uh, yeah her little bear is done except for maybe clothing accessories I think I might go ahead and sew on like a little skirt to it I might go ahead and do that and I could show you um, if you want <laughs> I can show you make sure that that's in an even placement you do you have to make sure it's in an even placement otherwise it's gonna look a little funk eye funk eye <laughs> yeah the eye will come out a little funky if you don't do that and then it's the opposite go through like look at this got the whip stitching done and now the face 
is being done. And it's really like, to me it's simple. I'm not going to say it's that simple for everyone. Because it's not always that simple for everyone that's just learning. Um, like, to me, it's easy because I've been sewing since I was like six or eight years old. So, yeah, I've been sewing that long. And then I was a custom clothing designer in the late 80s. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> because I can, you know, take what I have and reach out to other people and and give back and to me giving back is the best way to uh n let people know you know hey the whole world hasn't gone to crap <laughs> and hand basket there are a few of us good ones left as uh you know hey Get, get the knot put in there and the face the face will be done oh no what happened I know what happened it was misbehaving misbehaving like Maven <laughs> I don't know anybody named Maven this is a joke But, like I said, take the scissors close to the button and clip. And basically, look at that cuteness. Is that, that's just cute by itself, even though I'm going to add like the little skirt on there. And maybe make it like a little necklace because I happen to have like some uh, pink beads that I can just sew on and uh, it be her her stuff and again in the car or in travels neck pillow <laughs> uh, there you go there you go uh, and if you really look the end threads look like little eyelashes see that looks like little eyelashes here and little eyelashes there so yeah that that's cute and then if you see like when I was stitching it actually formed the head to be like bare ears right here so that's okay or a cat kind of looks like either or she can call it whichever she wants to call it a cat or a bear but I I think taking your leftover fabrics or fabrics like a garment that, you know, people have outgrown or it's torn but you want to do something else with it, you can do that. You fix that little hole in the side from where the sewing machine didn't catch. And then we'll call this video done. Um because I want to get the third stuffy done you know at least most of the way started and if I don't get it completed tonight I'll finish it up tomorrow because I have um, two other stuffies to make for the Paulson family um, that way Doug Jr. and um, Janae don't feel left out And uh, they can have a stuffy too. Because you know, they're just, they're little kids. I don't want kids feeling left out. You know, like the parents get something, but where's theirs? Okay, well, that didn't take long to stitch up that side. It's almost where the appendix are on a human. <laughs> but yeah pretty much um other than making it like a cute little skirt this is done 
I could have put a tail on the back of it, but I'm going to put a skirt on this. You know, not all bears have a tail, and not all cats have a tail. Look at that. See, like, from the side. You know, this reminds me of an old school uh, teddy bear that was around when I was a little girl. And the elders I was around, they always tried to hand me, like, the old school toys to play with. And I liked that. Maybe that's why I like old school looking toys. And I like making them look old school. and uh, Or making them old school. The old school way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. You got to see me sew this material together. Then I stuffed it. And I did show you at least one arm and a leg. Yay! <laughs> And the legs I left, you know, like this, loose like this. So it's very easy to carry around. I'm sure she's not going to carry it like that or like that or like this. But, you know, some little girls are very careful with their stuffies. And now um, the stuffies are machine washable. But if you don't want to wash them by hand, just wash them and air dry them. Or wash them and you can put them in the dryer. And if you look, I just noticed this right here. Like some of the material on the inside is actually showing right there. Like it's a little mouth. That's kind of funny because it's in the right place. It is. So anyway, guys, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, And as always, stay blessed. And um, I have another stuffy to start. And this one with the skirt. And, um, yeah, I have stuff to do. So I will see you probably as soon as I'm done with the other stuffy. And I'm going to make it again um, out of this fabric because I have enough left. Um, and stay tuned for that. <laughs> Yes, definitely stay tuned for that because the boys get the one made out of that. And obviously I wanted it to be completely different for your daughter. So I will see you guys soon.